How about that? Let's see if this works. Let's. Oh, I believe I just fixed it. Okay, somebody mark the timestamp for me in the comments. <laughs> somebody, somebody, help me out. Put it in the comments so people, so people watch. They're like, this dude's broke. He is broken. <laughs> he needs a donation for a microphone. I'm just kidding. Uh, yes. Okay, let me. Let's try that again. Hold on. Let me try this. Let me go back. up 
Okay, hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to my channel, I'm Jay Dreamers. I just went on a little mini vacation to take some time off uh, to ground myself and sort of get my energy back. Can you tell I feel a little better, huh? For those of you who've been watching. Sweet, so cut to the chase. We're going to be talking about the eclipse, mostly because I just got back. I, had, I don't have a lot of presentation material put together and it's super easy for us to talk about the eclipse and it's something I would like to talk about. I've got interesting theories, ideas. I heard a million people's different experiences. Um, I saw a really interesting uh, I was going to move my sunglasses, but they're not on my head. Uh, I saw really interesting YouTube videos all over the place um, with weird stuff. Um, people were crying and people were emotional and stuff. So I'll, this is going to be... Let's, let's set this for about 30 minutes to 45 minutes. I have the chat right here in front of me. We got everybody, all of the locals, all of the Good Vibe Tribe, um, and everybody showing up t tonight. Sorry about the volume. Um, normally, I you know have it all fixed up, but I was on vacation and it broke. I don't know. I don't know what happened. But anyway, so we're gonna talk about the eclipse. Um, with that being said, let me actually let's throw up a picture, right? We want something to look at besides my face. Let's put a picture of the actual eclipse up here, real quick. That way we can have some context for people that are watching. Let's do for pal and booyah. Oops. There we go. This should this sh this should do the trick. Boom. All right, sweet. We got that. We'll just pull it on down. Move it on down. Move it on down the road. Let's do right there behind me. There we go. My sh shoulder feels better. And it's not all weighed down by that picture. Sweet. All right, cool. So I I made a quick little thumbnail using ideogram, one of my favorite AI image generators at the moment um, and I put zombies <laughs> let me tell you why I put some zombies looking up at the eclipse because I I I prayed to God I was like please let there be zombies please oh please let everyone outside looking up at the Sun please turn them into zombies I would love to escape from wherever I was at the time, breaking out, and it's it just turns into the zombie apocalypse right then and there, and inserts some instant action and meaning and purpose into this world. It did not happen. So, <laughs> I was pretty disappointed. I really, really was... I'm not saying I wish you all were zombies, but I was looking at the people. I wasn't looking up at the eclipse or anything. And uh, there, there was a weird vibe. Oh my god, there was weird frequencies, weird feelings. A lot of people were describing that. Have you? How many people in the chat? Uh, let's see, let's see some zombie emojis. If you watched the eclipse, <laughs> if you watched the eclipse and you saw it, put some zombie emojis. I'd like to call on you. I'd like to ask uh, some people in the chat. Um, how was it? And just put a little zombie emoji and then, and then put your description. Like, if you noticed anything strange, anything weird, there's a train going by right now. So if you hear, it sounds like ghosts sword fighting. That's the train that I live right next to. Um, yeah, I would like to hear some stories. Yeah, Crystal's in the chat and she says, I wanted zombies too. Right? I'm, I'm mad at the eclipse. I'm mad at that eclipse. Ooh, boy. It was a cool... I heard it was cool. I looked up all of the stuff on YouTube. Um, some of them actually had a blue corona around it. What color did you guys see? Did it change any colors? Um, because I'm looking forward... I don't know how many people are new to my channel, but as a part of the uh, the next eclipse... I mean, eclipse. The next apocalyptic cycle we're going through, I believe that the sun is going to get hotter and hotter and shift into the blue spectrum and that there will be an eclipse of the sun and it will leave a blue ring around it and it's going to set things on fire and stuff. Did anyone notice anything? Let me see. Browsy. What's up, Browsy? Browsy with the superpowers is in the chat. And he says, I looked up the eclipse and watched it without glasses. I'm telling you, my energy grew exponentially. That's something I have heard from a few different people and seen on YouTube channels. And one of my friends did a video about this too. Um, shout out to Evie, if you're out there watching. Um, she was saying that like, she didn't even care. 
Like she, you know, it wasn't really that big of a deal for her. Like it's an eclipse. She's just gonna go watch it, check it out, see if anything happens, see if the apocalypse comes, you know. But she described in detail this feeling she had, and she said that she felt her energy shift. And it's like it's like she couldn't go back into normal mode or you know, normal living in her loops and life circles or whatever, uh, for like the rest of the day and probably longer. Uh, we got Ima watched it. Crystal throwing up the zombies, the glory of Yas creation says it felt weird. Yeah, I, I mean, I felt it even though I wasn't out there looking at it. I felt a strange vibration or strange energy. Uh, Brow Browsy uh, again says no glasses. It's not the moon. My life force energy is exponentially more stronger. Yes, I'm feeling I'm feeling a lot of energy. Uh, Cosmic Gumdrop says that the sun looks white now. Yeah, so the colors, right? The colors of the eclipse, of the just the sun itself. I noticed that the sunlight is hot. Anybody else notice that? It's hot, man. Like, it feels like a microwave beaming down. Even today, even days after the eclipse, the sunlight itself is like, it's it's really hot. You know what I mean? Like, it's nice. It's, it's springtime. All the seasons are shifted, by the way. So it's like we had spring come in like a month early, but it's on you. The, just the light is hot. It's not the atmosphere. It's not like, you know, the air is hotter. It's like it's, it's hot outside. No, it's just the light from the sun is just baking and burning right now. Uh, let's see. Charles Riston says he and his son went out and checked it out. Had an excused absence from school. Right on. Uh, let's see. Bass player looked at it. Didn't go blind. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know all that don't look at the sun stuff and oh it'll it'll burn a hole in your retinas or whatever. I don't know. I like to do my sun gazing when I'm at a traffic stop. Like a nice long red light, you know. I feel like that's the perfect time to just get some sun gazing in, you know. I figure I've got about 30 seconds to a minute to just stare intently into the sun before I start driving again. Uh, let's see. Anybody else? Anybody else? <laughs> yes. Zara Lass says sun gazing. Uh, let's see. What else we got here? It was... Remember to type in JDreamers to get my attention. It was flashing... Lyric says it was flashing red and blue like a strobe light with the naked eye but not with the glasses. Much more energy this week, says Sarah Cruz. My chat skipped, so I'm just going to skip too. Uh, I'm in, says Jay. I watched it with the sunglasses just because I'm sensitive to the sun. Yes. Uh, man, no zombies though. Sad about that. Um, people were saying they could see solar flares. That's new. I've never heard of that. I definitely, I've seen a few solar eclipses in my time. I've never once looked up and said, oh, look, the solar flares. Look at those. <laughs> like, What? How? What is that about? So where did those come from? That was a surprise, right? I saw some videos that showed, you know, what, what they say are solar flares or whatever. Something coming out of it, right? Bass player says uncomfortable. Uh, let's see. What else we got in here? What's up, Matt Bingen? Good to see you, dude. Matt Bingen's in the chat. Glory of Yah says... I'm in Arizona. I cannot gauge temperature. I don't, I'm not, I don't know. It feels like radiation to me. I, it's not, a, I don't know if it's temperature or what, but I don't know. Sun's getting hot, man. Ooh, Remy. Remy is in France. Uh, yes, in France too. Rays are very hot like in summer. Let's see what else we got. Make America Guitar Again says J Dreamers. Oh, everybody's comment is, hold on. Let me move everybody's comment real quick. Just going to scooch it down so we can see how many people are watching. Because that's fun. Oh, now it's in front of my head. That's nice. Let's move that. Now my head feels heavy. Hold on. Is it this one? Hey, I fixed it. Check that out. All right, hold on. Let me shrink it a little tiny scoosh. There we go. Let me, let me move it down a tiny bit more. <laughs> I'm a perfectionist. All right, cool. That's fine. All right. Uh, Make America Guitar it says, J Drummers, I watched it with the welder's glasses. You know what? That sounds like a good idea. A lot of people did that. In North New Jersey, there was a circular rainbow leading up to the eclipse. The moon was nowhere to be seen. The sun stood still for two hours. Let me ask everyone. Let's take a poll. How many people saw the moon? Whatever you think the moon is. Okay. Anybody? 
I, now, here, let me just beat every all the academics to the punch. They're like, it's a new moon. Of course you can't see it. It's invisible, dummy. <laughs> yes, of course, the invisible moon moved in front of the sun and blocked it out. How... Raise your hand if that makes sense to you, so I can block you. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, sort of. I'm so, I don't know. I'll think about it. Let's see. Um, what's up, Corey? In see you in the chat. We got. Uh, let's see. Stephanie McGuire says, "Jay Dreamers, we could see through cloud filter without our glasses. Our security light came on during totality, and it was very eerie. Let's also talk about totality. What did it last? Like four minutes? I heard." Let me point something out, okay? The sun and the moon, as we see them from the ground, outside of any academic models, okay? As they appear to our eyeballs, look about the same size. As a matter of fact, if you Google it, they'll typically say, yeah, they're about the same size in the sky, right? So the story is that the moon is going across, it's like racing, but it's going too slow, so the sun catches up to it, and the sun is behind it, right? And if they're the same size, if you take two quarters or two round circular objects, right, that are the same size, and you pass one in front of the other, and you don't stop moving them, then naturally you would have an instant of totality. You would have like a quick second where it would be dark, but you would expect on the other side the light to appear pretty quickly. <laughs> pretty darn fast, right? I would not expect it to be like, oh, here comes here comes the sun catching up to the moon. Oh, totality. And then they just match each other and stop for four minutes. That doesn't make any sense to me, right? Of course, I, 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 I personally know, okay, that that's not the moon. That there's no invisible moon blocking the sun. I also don't believe in space weather and flying cryogenic Siamese ice volcanoes and other weird things that NASA talks about. All right, what else we got? Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Scuba Deep. Truth Talker 911 says, Jay Drimmers, so all of us in the know have ascended into a new reality, new Earth, because it is an ascension process. Uh, plus, did you see the videos where a recent eclipse made an L turn? I don't know. I, I am not experiencing any new realities, but welcome. Let me just, if, if I am a new J Dreamers, I'd like to welcome you personally to the new reality. And I know I did not see the sun do anything because I was not looking at it because I don't like to do what I'm told to do. That's just me being a rebel. If the news and 3,000 YouTubers are like, go watch the eclipse. Oh, it's going to be amazing. Whoa, oh, you got to get your, you got to pay for a good seat. People are paying to watch the eclipse. <laughs> They're like, oh, we've got front row tickets to the eclipse. They're super cheap. I'll get you a good deal. I'm not going to do it. Like just, just the rebel in me is like, I guess I'm missing out on the eclipse this year. Oh, it's a once in a lifetime thing. Okay. That's fine. Well, it, a million people recorded it on YouTube, so I'm fine. Uh, let's see. Totality was a couple of seconds. Oh, was it? Let me Google that. Maybe I'm wrong about that. I thought I heard it lasted like four minutes. Let's see. 2024. How long did totality last? I might be wrong. I thought it was... Well, the internet says four minutes and 28 seconds. Who was that that just said that? Maybe... You had a weird experience. I don't know. I'm just saying what the internet says. The internet says 4 minutes and 28 seconds. Uh, where, where's my video? Hold on. Let me get back to my video here. Alright, uh, we got Lyric, who says, Jay, you could still see the outline of the sun through the shadow with a certain filter. Yes. See, I don't, I don't even, I don't know. See, oh, I'm just going to tell you guys what I think it is. The object that passes in front of the sun, especially if this totality lasts for four minutes or whatever, is obviously much bigger than the sun. It's bigger than the sun, right? Bigger than the sun, and it passes in front of it. I don't think there's an object. Let me just say that. I don't believe that what we're seeing with the eclipse is an object at all. I don't believe it's the moon. I don't believe it's a rock. I don't believe it's a cryogenic flying space volcano. Um, I believe it's an absence of light. And it's, and it's dependent upon how the light outside of the firmament moves and pulsates and twists around 
and what parts of the firmament it hits in order to create that focal point and what parts it hits that diverge it and, and put that light into divergence so that it's just an absence of light. And whatever it hits is circular in its structure and it's diverting the light. So we just see an absence of light in the focal point. <coughs> Sassafras. What's up, Sassafras? Lindsay. Lindsay's in the chat and says, J Dreamers, uh, down is Australia. We have a nice cool autumn fall, but the sun is definitely intense. Yes. Okay. So it's getting hot down there, I heard. Right on, right on. Let's see. Any, let's see. What else we got in the chat? <sighs> Candy Jones, I see you. Doctor Who. Doctor Who Maniel says, Jay, the corona during the totality would likely show if they stopped or the passing coins just blurred the lenses of perception. I'm not too loud, am I? I hope not. All right. I'm just excited. That's all. All right. So the cor let's see. The corona during the totality would likely show if they stopped or the passing coins just blurred the. Yeah. So if they stopped and, and matched each other's speed for like four minutes, then yeah, I could get that, right? Ginger Humphrey says, J. Dreamers, whatever blocked the sun did not pass over the sun. It backed out the same way it came in. That's messed up. Right? Especially if they say it's the moon. That's crazy. It should just be the sun is catching up to the moon and it's behind it, right? And it's like, whoosh, whoosh, and it just passes it up. So you should see if this is the moon up here, right? And this is the sun back here, then you should see uh, the front part of the sun going dark, totality, and then this part on the other side. You know what I mean? I need, I need pieces. I need, I need quarters or something to show you guys anyways if it's moving in different directions that's messed up um it, i don't believe it should do that in the sky but i'm sure there's some sort of weird academic alice in wonderland explanation for why it does all this weird stuff anybody else see anything strange i don't think it's the moon let me just tell all the new people um i believe in elder cosmology i don't know what to call it ancient cosmology i don't believe in modern academics uh, much i'll take what they teach with a grain of salt okay i'll add it to the collection of my mind and my own little library of thoughts um i do not believe in a a rock that is up there a, pl a planet-sized rock that's just just barely flying just outside of our own world looming over us that doesn't crash into us because it's in a magical Z goldilocks zone that's covered in dust. Um, what else? That no one knows where it came from. That only has one side facing us all of the time. And that every once in a while, once a month, it disappears. And it becomes invisible. Like it's cloaked by Klingons. <laughs> I put Romulans in my community section. Whatever. They both have cloaking devices, don't they? Uh, yeah, I don't believe in the, the Romulan cloaking device moon theory. If you're academic, okay. Make um, uh, make a t make America a guitar again, says J. Dreamers. The scientific explanations make no sense, unfortunately. I mean, they make sense to some, you know, not to me though, right? And I'm not I'm not going to compare myself to others. You know, there's always comparisons to be made. There's always people who are more intelligent than I am and less intelligent than I am, and and vice versa, whatever. I'm just speaking for myself though. As someone that I feel presents myself as a clear thinker from time to time, using reason and intelligence and studies and research and my own experiences and creativity, mounds and loads of creativity, all mixed together, I don't buy it. I don't buy invisible moons. That's just strange. Even when the moon is a, a sliver like it was the other night, which is also really weird, right? If you saw that moon the other night... That's the skinniest, tiniest little moon I've ever seen in my life. That's the tiniest. You could cut your finger just pointing at it. <laughs> um, anyways, when it was its sliver, I could still see the other side. I could still see all the rest of it, albeit darker. You know what I mean? It wasn't invisible because you know the, the sun wasn't lighting it up. It's not invisible. I still see the other side of the moon when it's a crescent. You know what I mean? So I don't I don't buy invisible moon theory. Sorry, that's I'm not doing it. Uh, was the black hole sun? It was the black hole sun. Ooh, I, I believe this is what it represents. So let me share that with you guys. I believe that 
the reason that this is getting hyped up, that all of these omens, okay, the the temperature of the earth or the sun, etc., all the temperature rising and getting hotter, the hottest summers on record, stuff like that, all the earthquakes that we're having, right, all the stuff, Mother Earth is getting ready to give birth again to the light of the world and you will see a return of the light of the world and that brings about the apocalypse every single time when that light of the world retracts and dies there's an apocalypse when it's born there's an apocalypse um anyways i believe that this i believe there's two cycles of the apocalypse one by water one by fire this one the blue sun is the fire one and i believe that in our hearts deep inside energetically you know people know and they look up and they see the sun disappearing i mean i, I talk about here on my channel plasma possession right somebody remind me i want to get back to the chat but remind me to talk about plasma possession okay trigger happy says jay Drimmers. Uh, from what I see, there are translucent orbs around the sun and the moon that work like a lens for different frequencies that alter states of consciousness. Interesting. Uh, let's see, we got Crystal who says, JJ Drummers, can you explain what an eclipse is? Excuse me. And does um, that relate to this eclipse? Politicians kept calling it the... Are you trying to say eclipse or ellipses or ellipse? I don't know what an ellipse is, uh, so I don't know. I can't answer that. I don't know what an ellipse is. Me, personally, I believe that the eclipse has to do with the firmament. That the sun is created by the firmament. The moon is created. The, the luminary of the moon is created by the firmament. That they are points of focus and projections that are created up there in the sky. That they're lights, as they were originally described and called. That they're lights up there in the sky. The stars as well. Sam, the Sam, says, J. Dreamers, what's your opinion on the people who are saying they got powers with the eclipse? I like that question. Sam, the Sam, I like that question because I believe in powers. I believe in everything, really. <laughs> Love believes all things. I believe in, in everything. Or I, I, I believe in aspects of everything. I believe there's truth in everything. And getting powers is definitely something I talk about here on my channel. Superpowers. Powers that are cool. Powers that might not be so cool. I don't know. But I definitely believe in abilities, powers. Um, all those words that basically begin with um, psycho, you know, psychokinesis and tele, tele, telepathy and stuff like that, right? So people getting powers. That object, there, there's an object up there in the sky that the ancients called the doom shape. That object, which it's, it's, um, it's a hole in the sky, okay? And it, and it seeps in plasma, right? Which is ionized uh, gas, right? And there's different types of plasma or different types of ionized gases that have different abilities all on their own. Right? Especially whenever they touch physical objects or whenever they are contained within physical objects like crystals and metals and things like that, then they become radioactive. Um, we become radioactivated, right? All that junk DNA that exists inside of our cellular structure and stuff um, that science doesn't really know what it is or mainstream academics doesn't can't really explain it. They just say, oh, it's just garbage DNA, you know? No, no, no. Everything that is locked away inside of our bodies was once useful and, and used for something like, for example, the reason why we have a tailbone, right? Or the reason why some people grow horns after they reach 90, 100 years old, etc. There are things that I call ancient oblivion that we have forgotten about up here as individuals. But the bodies, but the DNA, but the genetics, but the spirit memory holds on to it. The earth cannot forget. And therefore that remembering that knowing of the ancient ways and the things that were once productive and useful under different conditions and circumstances it is locked away in the memory or what you know edgar casey referred to as the akashic records um so yeah i i'm not i mean i'm not going to be you know just uh believe every 100 percent every single thing i hear like if someone's like yeah oh i got i got super strength or whatever and then the they don't, you know. Yes, there's liars and stuff out there. However, it's a it's an omen. I'm going to say that. It's an omen that harkens to things that are about to happen. Things that are on the cusp. Things that are on the way, on the verge. These are harbingers of things that are coming. Our world is about to go through major changes. 
Typically, eclipses are bad omens, and they represent death and uh, people dying, especially people who are famous or people who are in positions of leadership. It also represents the death of the old world, which is this modern world, would, you know, once the apocalypse comes. Backass Words Weird World says, J-Dreamers, we are in a hepton eclipse cycle. Very, very rare. Check it out. What is that, like every seventh eclipse or something? You get like a... A weirdo eclipse. Make America guitar again, says Jay Drummers. I concur that the sun felt significantly hotter after the eclipse. I know, right? It is like a microwave. Uh, let's see. Void says, poor moon used to get all the glory. Now it's like a disowned uncle. <laughs> <coughs> Pardon me. Uh, let's see. We got Gran Ermaga. Gran Ermaga says, hi, Jay. When, I sun, when I'm sun gazing for a while, the sun looks black. Sun baths give us all powers and enchanted senses. So back to the powers thing. I, I know deep inside of my heart, people will get powers. I know I have powers. I do have powers, okay? But those one day, those powers are going to be amplified. And ooh, buddy. Woo! I can't wait. Because I'm walking around in the modern world right now like, Psh, you better thank your lucky stars I don't have superpowers <laughs> like you know to most like random weirdos I come across or whatever but yes um, powers anyways my point is that that electrical field electromagnetic fields right in different shapes and sizes or whatever um, they affect our bodies they pass through us this is shown to us in the movies when they show you like gamma rays passing through uh the fantastic four and it activates and unlocks the different dna it's shown to us in the movie the fly and you know other other instances where electricity in different forms or electromagnetism i should say in different forms passes through the human body and unlocks powers unlocks abilities changes it mutates it the x-men is based on a true story that we have all forgotten about collectively i haven't i watched that i watched the 90s uh x-men cartoon every morning with my son <laughs> um because i see the truth that that they're sharing with us it's i mean it's it's us really it's us sharing our own truths it's us reminding ourselves i don't really believe in all that truth hidden in plain sight i just i recognize the truth it's right there um it's it's just hidden to those who don't see it you know all right. Anyways, uh, back into the chat. What else we got here? Uh, plasma process. Oh yeah, plasma possession. Candy Jones. Thank you. You're the best. Um, so plasma possession. So remember how I was talking about um, the plasma? There's terrestrial plasma. Let's just let's 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 go back a step, right? There are different forms of plasma, and there's different places that where plasma mainly comes from, right? which here in our enclosed system of a world or realm, plasma, um, it can be generated and is generated within the earth herself, inside of the earth. Gases are created inside of the earth. Those gases rush throughout different cavernous systems. Uh, static electricity builds up. They become ionized and they shoot up and out. That's why many times people will start seeing these light pillars and beams of light all over the place. That is ionized gas that's coming up out of the earth as she gives birth, you know, practicing for the big show whenever we have Mount Maru and it all comes up out of Mount Maru. Oh, hold on. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm having a quick dad moment. I have lasagna in my oven right now. Jeez! Sorry. I needed a quick dad moment. Thank you. Do me a favor. Check the microwave and tell me what time it says, okay? Okay. Thank you. All right. Sorry about that. Uh, that's why I'm kind of talking fast too, okay? Uh, what was I? Where was I? Plasma possession. Okay, that, okay, I'll get back to the chat in just a second. So, plasma possession, right? Um... We have terrestrial plasma that shoots up like a fountain, erupts, and it fills our sky. 737? Okay, we got seven more minutes. Uh, it fills our sky, fills our atmosphere, charging it, charging it up. But then you also have cosmic plasma or cosmic radiation, right, that comes down uh, from the heavens. There's different parts of the firmament up there. There's still cosmic radiation up there in different parts of the sky. But when the sky opens, when the firmament opens, and people see that hole in the sky, the black hole sun that's going to be up there in the sky, uh, the all-seeing eye, the 
you know, there's so many different names, the doom shape. Um, it will allow, it will cosmic radiation, cosmic plasma, I'll call it, okay? It's really just energy from the fractal verse that's out there that we're protected from right now. Uh, it will come into this world. It will flood in. It will be a flood of spiritual fire. I don't know how else to describe it. And it will come in and it will charge everything. It will activate everything. There will be a time of no death. There will be so much energy in this world, people can't sleep. People won't need or want to eat any longer. Might not even need your teeth any longer. Your body might just give up on that. I don't know. But it's going to change everything. Mutations will occur. People will get powers. Um, uh, people will become plasma possessed. Those energies will be so strong that if a person, an individual has a weak soul, zombies, okay? The walking dead right now, the sleepwalkers right now, right? Um, the people with weaker souls will, will become thralls to the plasma that comes down from above. You see this in the movies when they look up at some cosmic light or some color out of space or however the different ways that it's portrayed, right? And um, they're like, oh, it's so beautiful and I'm terrified of it, but I feel euphoric and great. That is a, that's, that's plasma possession. Okay, that plasma that comes down has a program. It has a frequency. It's here to destroy. It's here to rearrange things. It's here to uh, terraform. It's here to. It's basically the age-old devil or satanic negative energy. I don't know. It's not that it's bad. You know what I mean? It's doing its job, right? And it's helping out actually to cleanse the earth and clear it out um, for the blue energy. I'm just calling it blue. Okay, red spectrum, blue spectrum. That blue plasma comes out, and um, it it's more positive charge. Okay, it's more of a positive, and that brings about um, the golden age and feelings of euphoria and heightened awareness and you know things of that nature. But people with weak souls can easily become plasma possessed, easily become entranced by the pretty lights in the sky. You better be careful, man. One day it's going to happen. One day there will be pretty beautiful, crazy cosmic lights in the sky and people will go out there and they'll stare at them and they will become plasma possessed and they will do whatever they hear their mother, the spider grandmother up there telling them to do, which is what the movies show you. Okay. Anyways, uh, let's see where else, where else we got here. Aether's in the chat and says, Jay, you've created a great community. That's nice. I like that. That's nice. I mean, it's it's all of us, right? But, you know, I, I play my part, and I appreciate it. Yes, I, I do like our community. Uh, let's see. Scooby Doop, anything else? I can't remember. I'm thinking about the lasagna. Anybody else? We're going to wrap things up here, because I got to go be dad and have dinner and play Fortnite, and there's lots on the table tonight. I got to clean the house. Hey, by the way, my son, shout out to my son, Jace. He just recently turned nine, nine years old. He had a birthday. I let everybody know during the last live stream and some people actually sent me uh, direct PayPal donations so that I could, you know, buy him gifts and make cool memories with him and stuff. So I just want to say thank you for that. Thank you for sending me donations so that I could use it to have cool memories with my little boy. I really appreciate it. Uh, Derek, Derek. Kared is in the chat and says, Jay Drummers, did you or anyone else besides me see the rocket with the bright red light at the base of the eclipse? I did not look at that eclipse. Um, so no, I did not see any rockets. I would love to see a video of this though. During totality. No, I'm going to, I'm going to, we're going to talk more about the eclipse this coming week. When, whenever I do my, my omen segment, Monday or Tuesday, I forgot. But we're going to go more into that because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to get as many, like a compilation of totality videos. Okay, I want to see all the different angles. I want to I want to see all of them. So I'm going to try to do that. Sam Sam B says, Jay, do you know solo video games with esoteric stories? Yeah, there's lots. There's like a million. Um, but that's a little off topic for right now. Uh, the Sam says, Raising Dion. Yeah. Oh, that's a good one. I haven't seen all of it. I, I know I've seen the first season. But yeah, that one's a really good one. Uh, yeah, it's totally about that. That that whole electric man, I forgot what he calls him. You know what I mean? But that lightning man or whatever uh, Dion sees, that's, that's basically the blue beam that shoots up. It branches out at the top, creating arms. It's got little legs that come down and bow down. Uh, it's the 
you know, the squatter glyph, squatter man glyph, stick figure glyph that you see, you know, on all the stuff. Uh, let's see. Anything else? Uh, yes, see. Do, 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 do. Yes, it is. The ellipse. Hmm. I'll, I'll, if, if I, I will try to remember that. I will try to remember that. All right, cool. Uh, let's see. NASA channel has videos of them shooting rockets at the eclipse. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I'm going to check that out. I got it. I'm going to go be dad. I don't, I don't have to. I want to. I'm looking forward to it. So I thank you all for joining me. Over 400 people right now. It's a high five to everybody, all of you across the board. In the meantime, hang out in the chat while I run some sweet music and some credits. Uh, leave some comments if you like. Go check out my community section. JDreamers.com is pretty awesome. I've got a 10,000 volume library of all esoteric material, ancient manuscripts, ancient books. Um, I'm, I'm in the middle of bringing back my members' post section so that members can start posting their own little things too. Um, I had taken it down a couple years ago just because I like it got it kind of weird and out of control, but I'm reworking it so that way that way you guys can have bring your communities over to my website and you can you can actually like leave your your mark on my website. You know what I mean? So lots of cool things over on my website that are happening. Go check that out. And if you're interested in the plasma apocalypse, knowing the different cycles, what to expect, how does it work? Um, my first book that I wrote, you know, a while ago is available on Amazon. It's called Ancient Oblivion, the plasma apocalypse. Look and keep an eye out for my second book, which is uh, right around the corner. That one's called Ancient Oblivion, Return to Hyperborea. Until next time, I'm Jay Drimmer saying good vibes and goodbye.
Oh